Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Always a pleasure to have you with us looking at variant Sudoku, especially when, like today, it's a fog of war puzzle. These are normally very popular um, with most people. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. It's by Startup, who appropriately is appearing for the first time on the channel. I will go through the rules in a minute. But first of all, um, do check out our Patreon site where the... April Puzzle Hunt was James Bond themed and was very popular. So check it all out. It was great stuff and we enjoyed having you with us on the ride. Loads of people finished it and very well done to them. They saved the world effectively from the supervillains. There's loads of other stuff on Patreon as well. Um, and also, of course, do check out um, Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise in the links under the video. Uh, there's also all of our apps, um, which don't yet feature Fog of War, but will one day. Um, and they feature all sorts of other variants and indeed classic Sudoku by either ourselves or some of the best constructors in the business commissioned by us. Um, and we recommend them very highly. Very good value for 100 puzzles an app. Now, let's have a look at the rules to Polychrome. And be warned from the title that this might not suit people of a colorblind disposition. I don't know, but uh, there, there are colors in it and we will see how we get on with them. So the rules are, normal Sudoku rules apply one to nine in every row, every column and every three by three box. Um, the grid is covered in fog, almost completely. Placing a correct digit will clear the fog in surrounding cells. Now, in the cages, um, what we have is that digits may not repeat and the cage totals will appear in the cage, although not necessarily in the top left. They can be placed in any cell. Um, and the cages, yes, yeah, so that's all we need. Cages don't have repeat digits and they sum to the given totals. However, there are cages of different colours and they can overlap if they're of different colours. Okay, uh, a digit on a grey circle is odd. We've got one of those shown. And we do have some white and black dots. Digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. Digits separated by a black dot have a one to two ratio. So one is double the other. And those are the rules. Give it a try. Um, see how good startup is starting up. And I'm going to start it now. Let's get cracking. So, we're not shown much to start with, but this six cell, or the cell with a six in it, first of all, it's an odd digit. So we can write one, three, or five in there. We know it's not more than that because it's in a cage that adds up to six. We also know it's not five because of the black dot. It's one or three. This digit on the white dot is two or four. This one on the black dot is two or six. Fog won't clear till we get an actual digit. Ah. Yes, okay. Look at, look at the shape of... I'll ring this. Look at the shape of the dots in this cell. This is telling us that this cage expands at least into these cells. And it adds up to 10. Well, it can only expand into those cells because... The minimum total for four different digits, and these are all in the same box, so they must be different, is one, two, three, four. They're all in the same cage. Anyway, that's ten. So that is the extent of that cage. That is a one, two, three, four cage. Now, now look. We look back down column five, and if we were to put a one in here, which requires a two in there, well, what's going to happen here? We can fit three and four in, but the other digit's impossible. So this is not one. This is a three, and we'll clear some fog. There we go. This is a six and clears more. And three is not in those cells. Three is here and that will clear eight cells of fog as well. Now, this six cage needs a two and a one in it. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna have to come up to box two because I'm not getting much more from this. We don't know anything about this green cage. There, there is a green cage heading off here. Sorry, I, I should translate colours for, for people who can't see the difference. And up here we have a red cage for those. 
Now, we have an incipient green cage of 15. Let's get rid of the colouring I did there. I've got two green cages, but they both have a 15 in, so they're not the same cage. So one includes at least those three cells. Oh, I shouldn't use green because it obscures the, the number. What doesn't? Every, every colour seems to obscure the number. Yeah, I don't know. OK, so I might as well use green. Right, we've got a 15 cage in at least those three cells and a 15 cage in at least those three. Now, the remaining digits we have to put in this box after those are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we were to put the minima of those in here, 5, 6, 7, 8, that adds up to 26. Yeah, it does. The, OK, the minima in here as well makes these add up to 29. So we're nearly to the total, and that's putting 1 and 2 in those cells. The total of these two cages is 30. So we haven't reached the minimum, but we're cl there's only one degree of freedom, and that means neither of these digits can be a 4, because that would take two degrees of freedom from the sun. So they're not a 4, so this is a 4, and that will clear some fog. Oh, look, this... Say, OK, I was about to say that these now must be 5, 6, 7, 9, because I'd expected this cage to stop. But it doesn't. It continues to here. Well, we worked out that the total for those is minimally 29, but the total for the two cages needs to be 30. Now we're going into that cell. We've got to put a 1 in there. And this is a 2, and that's a 1, and we're away. Look at all the fog clearing. I love it. OK, now we know that these are 5, 6, 7, and 8. Actually, these two add up to 12. So they have to be 5 and 7, I think. And these are 6 and 8. That seems to work. This is a 9, and we'll clear a cell of fog. Not revealing anything new. This digit, next to 6 or 8 on the black dot, is 3 or 4. This one is either the same 6 or 8, or it could be a 2, in the case of that being a 4. This is therefore odd, and is 1, 5, or 7, all the possible odd remaining digits. This is even, and is 4, 6, or 8. Now that's ruled out 1 from here. That rules out 2 from here. But that doesn't rule out anything from here. OK. 4, 6, or 8 here. And this black dot... 1, 2, 5, 7. Well, this is either 4 or 8 or 3. So there's a white dot peeping through the fog in box 3 here. And there's nowhere else to look, actually. So I am going to look here. 1, 2, 5, 7... If that is 3, 6, this is a 9, 8 pair, and that's a 4. If this is 4, 8, then it doesn't work. Then we've got 3, 6, and 9 to place up here, and nothing of those will go on a white dot. 3, 6, 9. Yeah, that, that clearly doesn't work. So this is 6 and 3. Now, 6 doesn't... Oh, that's 3 in the corner. That's 3 in the spot. Light... I was going to say that doesn't fix this, but it does because it, well, it fixes this as a 4, this as an 8, this must now be 7, it's all coming clear. Now we get 8 here and 6 here. This group of cells now is 4, 8, 9. On the white dot we have 9, 8. In the corner we have 4. Oh, loads of stuff. Right, a black dot here that can't be 3, 6 doesn't have a 4 or an 8, so that is a 1, 2 pair. Then I can fill in 5 and 6 in the column. Ooh. What's up with this 15 cage? We've got 3, 5, 7 to put in these cells. 2, 9 over here. These haven't got resolved at all from what we're seeing above. So we've got to look up here somehow. What's going on? Right. Oh, look, the green cage. OK, just in case you can't see... And because I couldn't see it first, I'm just going to get rid of those colours. But the green cage has to include at least those cells, based on its lines. The red cage includes at least those, but we don't have a total for the red cage. Hang on, do we? 
I'm so sorry. We have a total for the red cage. That 15 is in red. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful with my colours. So the 15 is referring to a red cage that includes at least those cells. The green cage we don't have a total for, and it includes at least those cells. Okay, so the red cage then is using at least 3, 5 here is 8, and at least 1 there. Ah, I mean, if the red cage continues, since we know the... Yeah, the red cage doesn't continue to here because the dotted line separates this cell away from it. And the red cage must continue because the most we can get it to add up to is 14, and we know the red sum is 15. So the red cage definitely continues to here. This digit, interestingly, is not 1 or 2. Because it sees one in the same cage, well, it sees this one in the same cage and this one in the same column. I don't know which one is one or two, but it's not either of them. It's not four. So it's at least three. Now that means that this group of cells, what does that mean for this group of cells? I was going to say that they have to be at least three, five, seven, but they cannot be. So that's not right. And they don't have to be at least 3, 5, 7. There's one way to avoid it. I hope you can see it. If these were 3, 5, 7, 3, 5 and 7 add up to 15. So once you add that cell, you've bo broken the cage total. So they can't be as much as 3, 5, 7. Now, that effectively means we have to keep 7 or any bigger number out of this cage. And if I do that in pencil marks, then you can see what's going on. Now we've got a 3, 5 pair here, and this is a 6. And that must be right. And there. Oh, my goodness. OK, I'm going to remove the colouring so that we can see what we've just revealed. <laughs> There's quite a lot going on here. OK, we found the green total. It's 45. And green is all of these cells. We've got a blue cage starting here that we haven't got a total for yet. Oh, we can finish off the red cage. 3 plus 5 plus 6 is 14. That's a 1 there. This is a 2. And now, well, the green cage, with its total of 45, I'm sure you know the secret that the numbers 1 to 9 add up to 45. And therefore, this cage has all the numbers from 1 to 9 in it. It can't have any repeats. So this cage, yeah, this is worth colouring. We can see it goes down, by the dotted lines, we can see it goes down to there. We're going to have to put all the digits in it. And we've got 2, 3, 5 already in it. Now, these cells are not going to contain 1 and 6. 1 because of that, 6 because of that, and whatever this is, they're not going to contain. So we've got to pick those up somewhere else. And, oh, and 6. Ah, hang on, what's going on? 6 in the column is in one of those cells by Sudoku. Is the 6 that's here definitely the 6 that's in this green cage? Actually, yes, it is. Because that cage has already got 6 cells. We can't extend it as far as row, as column 4 in any way. Because that would require it to be 10 cells. And the 6s in columns 5, 6, 7 and 9 are already unavailable to this cage. It's got to get a 6 in it. It's got to get it from down here. Right, this doesn't go all the way down here to the bottom. It ca this can't be the six in the green cage because then you'd have nine cells and no way you could put the, this one. That's funny. So can the six be here? The one you could deal with with the one remaining cell that isn't in those cells. But how would you deal with this digit? You've got to put that in the cage as well. And you've only got one cell that wouldn't be appearing in those cells. So this 6 is not in the cage. This is the 6. That's brilliant. I've never seen logic like that before startup. That's very clever. This is the 6 that's in green. And look, it clears the fog. We were right. Now, these two digits are not... Oh, well, I look, we know exactly where they are. They're here and here, according to... We've got the cage revealed. 
So this is the one, and that is the eight or nine that had that it sits there as well and had to be fitted in to the cage. In fact, these are a two, four, seven triple because of everything that has no, not a two, four, seven. We've had two in the cage. Sorry, two, three, four, oh, four, seven, and this digit, eight or nine. So that's a four, seven, eight, nine quad in green. Actually, I might as well color those green. Anyway, we've got the one in the six cage. So that's a two, that's a four now. That clears more fog. 44. Let's just look at this. What's going on with this blue cage? I'm gonna draw a line for this blue cage instead of a, uh, instead of a um, coloring spree because the coloring could get awkward. That blue cage is nine cells big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it is. So in fact, this cell is going to reveal a blue 45. How do we use that? We've got a new green cage starting down here. And we've got a blue cage here and this big red cage of 44. Okay, let's think about that because that covers all of those cells. Okay, a 44 cage. The only way you can make up a 44 cage is with eight of the Sudoku digits not including one. So that's all of them that aren't one. So obviously this set of cells is two, three, five, six, seven, nine. They're already in the cage. Now we have to put four and eight into the cage as well. Now, that digit is not in the cage because this sees eight and four in its column. So th we know these digits aren't in the cage because they're exposed and then they don't have any red dotted lines on. So the cage is going to have to escape through here or here. Now it could go two cells in one of those rows. And the four and eight, that's weird. I don't know quite how to mark that, but... Well, actually, also, either this is a pair, a 4-8 pair, or there's a 4-8 pair there or a 4-8 pair there. Now, I know there's no alternatives, because none of these cells can be in the cage, given the dotted lines. OK, I'm going to have to go back and think about this box, which needs a 1, 2, 3, and 5 placed in it. So it's pencil mark time, I'm afraid. Um, and look, there's a, one, four, seven, a 4, 7, 8, 9 quad in this column. So these cells are from 2, 3, 5. I thought I might get somewhere saying, where is 2 in the blue cage, but... I think it can be there or there. It's nowhere else. There is a two in one of those cells from the column. There is a two in one of those from the box. Oh, there's a one, three, five triple here. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. Oh, hang on, the blue, right. These are both blue cells and that is two. That's a seven, eight, nine triple in blue. This digit is now a four. And the other digits in blue, here, 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 and here, are a one, two, three, five set, in which two is in one of those positions. Now, that four is looking across at this cell. And this one. So the four in red is going to have to be down here somewhere. And that means this is a four, and we'll clear some fog. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. OK. <laughs> For the colorblind, you'll be fascinated to learn that not only does this cell, which still is covered by fog, have, well, not only does it have the blue cage going into it, it has a green cage going into it from there, and a red cage going into it from there, and it must have the totals of all those cages hidden under the fog. That's weird, but it must. Um, this is from 1, 3, or 5. We know that. Oh, these overlapping cages can be quite annoying because I don't know anything about this blue cage at all. 
Okay. <laughs> this has got harder, much harder rather than easier as we've gone along. That can't be a three I've just seen from the, the first digit we got in the puzzle. Um, right, so that one, two, three, five quad, is that seeing anything somehow? Now, I tell you what, this digit, which is in the seven, eight, nine triple, is not one of those because they're all on blue lines, so it must be there. So that's eight or nine. So there is a seven in this row in one of these cells, not a six, and therefore these don't have a seven in. I don't know, that's the tiniest possible deduction at this point, but I'll take anything. Greedy like that. Um, this one, three, five, triple. There must be a one in one of those cells in this column. So those don't have a one in. Oh, is there only one place for seven in this column now? Yes, there's an eight, nine pair. There is only one place for seven. This is a seven. We don't get a fog clearance to prove it, but it is. One of those is a seven. Okay, that didn't do anything, did it? Uh, I mean, those digits that are outside the blue cage in box six must be inside the blue cage in box nine. So that must be the same as this. And that must be the same as this. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so these two orange digits... In fact, let's make that orange and that purple. They have to be in this nine cell cage somewhere and they are not allowed in box six again. Now, therefore, they're in those two cells. They're not sixes, so they're not there. Oh, yeah, orange, I mean, the numbers are from one, two, three, five, so they're not in those cells. So they are here and here. That one is purple and that one is orange and purple, therefore, is not a three. Oh, it's also not a one by good old Sudoku. So sorry if you were yelling that at me. So purple has become a five. That's a two, three pair. This is a one. That's a three. That's a five. This is a two, three pair. Oh, and that's a two, three pair as well. Okay, now forget that purple. Let's start coloring the two threes. That one is the light blue. Uh, I don't know what that does. Four, three, two, five, six. So that's not five now. These are from one, seven, eight, nine. We've definitely got a four there. Do we know about eight in these rows? I don't think so. That's seven or nine. If we all oh four in column six is there. Three, six, four, one, two. That didn't do anything. Four is in one of these cells outside the red cage, clearly, unsurprisingly. I haven't got any dots to use up. I just feel like I'm failing to finish something off. That digit is the same as that one. Yeah, let's get rid of the green color. Okay, don't know how to do that. Let's get rid of the green color and say that this digit is the same as this one. and the same as that one. I don't think it's doing any good, but it is true. Okay, in this row, this can't be five or six. That can't be six either. How is this 44 cage meant to be helping me beyond telling me something about four and eight? I don't know. Eight there or eight here. There's a six in one of those two cells. And a one, that is a six, one pair. One, six, four, nine, eight. These are from two, three, five, seven. One, six, four, three, two. This is a group of five, seven, eight, nine. That's not doing anything for me. Does the one, six pair help with anything? Oh, we've got a four in one of those two cells. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Two, four, one, six, three. These are from five, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, this is now becoming absolutely covered in pencil marks. 
I don't know why. <laughs> well, I do know why. It's because I'm pencil marking the, the puzzle to death. Um, <laughs> what a wild claim that I don't know why the puzzle's becoming covered in pencil marks. I am, after all, pencil mark. Um, oh, that can't be five and it can't be three. This is a definite one. Yes, it is, from the box. That's totally obvious. So six and one are done. Fog, yes, we've cleared. Right, let's get rid of the red because it's obscuring the color, the, the numbering. We've got a blue less than 10 here and a cage that heads off this way. This can't be a six. So we can't put a nine in this cell because it will immediately break as we put another digit in. We've got two, three or five. So, ah, oh, hang on. Right, four and eight don't go there. Eight is either, eight is either here or here or here. No, well, yes, it could be here with a four there and the red cage would be like that. But eight is not here because of this 10 cage now, this less than 10 cage. Now, hang on, oh, this can't be four. So the four is down here somewhere. What am I saying, am I saying this can't be eight? No, I'm not, I'm saying this can't be eight. What does this mean? I don't know, I think it means that the eight is either here or here, the eight that's in the red cage. One of those two is an eight. That's really weird. Uh, one of those two is an eight. Oh look, the red cage has just gone round the corner here. So this digit has to be four or eight. I didn't see that, sorry, I've seen it now. And we know it can't be eight. It has to be four or eight, because those are the only digits needed by the red cage, and it can't be eight because of this blue thing. So that's definitely a four. And now, look, the red cage has stopped there, so the eight in the red cage can't be here. It's here. Yes, and we've cleared all the fog bar three cells now. Those can't be an eight. In fact, we've placed eight now in box five. Uh, that doesn't place eight here. Oh, we've got a 20 cage in blue, which doesn't have an eight in it, so it must have a nine in it, because the only way you can do 20 in three cells, which doesn't have a nine in, is eight, seven, five. So that's not what's happening. So there is a nine in these. I think there's gonna have to be a seven. No, it could be five, six, nine. And in fact, there can't be a seven, because it would be nine, seven, four. So this is six, five, nine. That one's the only one that can be a six. This is the only one that can be a nine. That's a five. We're gonna finish now, I think. That's a seven. This is a two, three pair. That's a seven, that's a five. Those are just done now. Um, come on, let's keep going. We've got that as a two or a three, but we've got three in the corner. So bright blue has become a three. We're gonna clear the fog down here. Look at this crazy cell. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all the colouring now. There we go. This crazy cell has, it's got a grey dot. It's got a 10 in, in red. It's got a 16 in green and it's got a 45 in blue, which we knew was coming. Anyway, it's, the red tells us that's a 7. Then the green tells us that's a 9. Then that 9 being in the blue cage tells us that's an 8. Then this is a two by Sudoku. This is not a three. This, these don't have a seven in, these don't have a nine in. These don't have a nine in, nine is there. This is an eight for the column. This is seven and five for the next column. That's now a two and the blue cage is behaving. This is a three, five, six triple where I know six goes there. That's cleared the last of our fog, I think. 
There's no eight in those cells. Let's get rid of the corner. No, let's not get rid of the corner marks because we've got a green cage. I can't read the total actually, so I will get rid of the corner marks. 22 for these cells. Now we know that eight and we know there's a four in one of these. That adds up to 12. So the other two are either nine, one or seven, three. This can't be a nine. There's either a nine or a three in these cells. Oh, we know where the four goes actually, there. This one is either a three or a nine, depending. Oh, well, we've got the white dot, sorry. I should wake up really, shouldn't I? Seven, six, three, five, nine, one. I still don't think it's necessarily dementia as somebody suggested the other day. Um, this is, well, we've done five, three down here. This is a nine. That's a seven, that's a five, that's three, that's two. We're gonna finish off now, nine and seven. That's a two, nine and eight finishes the puzzle. That was quite good fun, but it's a bit difficult to see some of those, uh, some of those cage colors and totals. Great fun though. Thank you very much, hope you enjoyed that. Not too hard, although still taking me 28 minutes. It, it felt like you could keep going, but there were some tricky bits actually Actually, yeah, around that blue cage, maybe, especially. Oh, and no, you had to think quite hard about this red cage, to be fair. Some tricky bits. Anyway, good fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon on the channel. Bye for now. <laughs>